What's up, YouTube? This your girl, Comedic Medium Prophetess, and I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, I am a prophetic tarot reader. I do not read cards based off the meanings. I read cards based off what Spirit tells me, the Holy Angels, and the Divine. I'm also a psychic medium, and I'm going to do a reading for Sagittarius. Reading for Sagittarius, Holy Spirit. Holy Angels, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raziel, Archangel Raphael, please give me clear and precise messages for Sagittarius. Somebody is contemplating and somebody is thinking. Somebody is thinking about their life and what they've done. I feel like somebody wants to take action here. Somebody could want to take revenge out on you. What I'm hearing is, is that like... Somebody betrayed you and they're 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 angry and they're upset because you're possibly doing better than them. We have the three of cups here. This person could have put you in a third party. But I feel like somebody is trying to get revenge, but they can't break you. Somebody could be trying to get revenge by doing spell work. So this person doesn't not have to necessarily want to harm you, Sagittarius, but somebody is trying to get revenge. But what this person does not understand, I'm hearing divine being. You're a divine being. What this person does not understand is that you're too strong to break break down because we have the, th the strength card here. You're too strong to break down. You're unbreakable. But this person... Like, look, I told you I can't make this up. This person is a magician. They do spell work. So somebody is trying to do spell work to break you down. This could be this could be somebody you was in a relationship with. This could be somebody that ghosted you or you ghosted this person either. Or this person went towards somebody else. And these two idiots here are trying to do spell work on you, but it's not working. That's what I'm hearing. You, you, you're, you're too quick. That's what I'm hearing. Spirit is saying this is the truth. You're too quick. It's like you're too quick, quick for these idiots. Yeah, yeah, we have a queen of wands here. It's like somebody is so dumb. I'm hearing somebody is so dumb and head over heels in love with somebody that you could have possibly cut off. They're actually teaming up, teaming up with this person behind the scenes to try to go against you out of jealousy. And because they're facing judgment, both of these two idiots are facing judgment. It's like... They're pissed off. Both of these two people are pissed off because you're a star and you're quick. I keep hearing quick. I'm hearing don't push me because I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose. So, yeah, so these, pe these two individuals want you to lose your head. Yeah, and I feel like the spell work is weak. The spell, we have the Knight of Blades here. The spell work is weak. That these two karmic ass lovers, these two karmic demonic ass individuals, somebody is pissed off because you beat them at their own game. Somebody does not have any common sense here, Sagittarius. I'm telling you. Yeah, and you're abundant and bossed up. I feel like somebody gets taken care of or somebody thought that if they went towards somebody, they were going to get taken care of. Now, y'all, I told y'all spirit got me doing Cody reading, so I don't be knowing who the hell I'm picking up on. Just take what resonate, leave what don't, and use your discernment to maneuver through the reading because I be channeling, okay? Look, this, there is a lot going on behind the scenes. We have the moon card here. There is a lot going on behind the scenes that you possibly don't know about and you possibly don't got nothing to deal with. Look, we have the Queen of Blades. You keep remaining in this Queen of Swords energy because I feel like you're too quick. I feel like you're too quick for this person. This I feel like this could be a karmic ex or something like that. I feel like you're too quick for this person and whoever they've attached themselves to and anybody else that's involved. I'm hearing family. You're too quick. You're too fast. And I feel like there are several people discovering that you're somebody not to be played with. I feel like you could possibly have several individuals scared. Not that you're a bully, but you're a queen of swords. But I feel like you're a good queen of swords. I don't feel like you just out here slicing people up and slaying people like sling blade. Okay. I feel like you only be a queen of swords when you got to be a queen of swords. And, 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 and if somebody try to play you, we have the sun card here. If somebody try to play you or somebody try to destroy your happiness, you're going to bring a tower on their ass. Period. Point blank. Because you're not somebody to be played with. And I feel like you're chosen. 
You're some type of divine being here because spirit is telling me that there's several individuals here that's under, up under judgment for hurting or mistreating a star energy here. Somebody is pissed off because you beat them at their own game. Somebody is not quick enough. Somebody... So, so I feel like this is what spirit is telling me. I feel like there was some type of plan here. So say, for instance, you were in a relationship, right? And you and this person closed out. Well, you possibly closed out a karmic cycle. This person didn't do it the proper way. We have the page of blades here. Yes, somebody is extremely childish and their game is weak. You're too quick. I don't know how to stress this enough. You're you're entirely too smart, intelligent, and too quick. I'm hearing you're a high priestess and that haven't even came out. Okay? I feel like you're too quick, but this is what spirit is telling me. You're going to get judged. You're going to keep remaining in your power. You could be a uh you could be an Aquarius. You could possibly be dealing with the Libra because we have a, ju a justice card here. But I'm, I'm hearing you're still going to get justice. You're still going to continue to maintain your power. You're still going to continue to move forward. I feel like somebody is slow. Somebody is extremely, 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 extremely slow. Okay? It's like somebody is trying to one-up a high priestess. Somebody is trying to one-up a divine being. But it's like... I'm hearing that song again. Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. It's like every time this person tries to come for your neck, you quick. There's two individuals here. Like I said, let me get back to the storyline that Spirit is showing me. Say, for instance, you were in a relationship with somebody. It was karmic. Okay? It wasn't a good relationship. This person went towards somebody else who they thought was better. And that, that connection has ended for whatever reason. I'm hearing something, something, something really tra traumatic happen in that situation. But with the moon card, that's going on behind the scenes. That does not have anything to do with you. But I feel like somebody is under a lot of judgment for possibly lying about who you were. Okay, so somebody could have lied to a third party about who you were and come to find out you're this star energy, this divine being, this high priestess. That's kind of irrelevant because I'm, you know, some of this stuff be sounding repetitive, you know, even though it's different, you know, I'm picking up on different people, different situations. I'll be trying to get to the gist of it. So spirit, give me some more clarification. What spirit is telling me is, is that somebody is trying to team up to use you for you. Look, you're this empress. I told you somebody is trying to team up to go against you behind the scenes and use family members so both of these people could be trying to use family members or friends and it's not working because i feel like even these people's family members are starting to turn on them somebody is also telling somebody they need to apologize to you yeah we have a family home here yeah this could have been somebody you had a family with and there is a third party here that's working with this person behind the scenes to go against you or get you caught up to possibly come in and try to use you for money or see who you're in a relationship with or see what you have or see what you're doing. I feel like there is a third party here. Look, we have a dev the devil. Yeah, this devil and this th these are two demonic individuals, okay? But there is a third party here that's pissed off because you know their secrets. And they're also pissed off because you've exposed them to family, possibly. I feel like somebody's family could be actually telling somebody, like, you need to apologize to a queen of swords because you're a homewrecker. Or you're a devil. I'm hearing homewrecker and devil. Why am I always picking up on these homeworkers, y'all? Spirit, can you clarify judgment? Can you clarify? Give me some more clarification, man. Some, I feel like whoever this person's family is here, man, it's like there's several individuals here that know that you could be a part of an occult. And I'm not saying like bad. I feel like there's a witch coven here that's scared, that know that you're not somebody to be messed with. That's what I'm hearing. There's several people that can know that you're spiritually gifted. Yeah, what else, spirit? Some, I feel like there's several individuals here that's scared, man. I can't stress that enough. Yeah, I told you with the hair offense. You're somebody that's seen in high honor. And I feel like somebody made a mistake trying to go against you. But I'm telling you now, these two individuals here are slow. It's like they don't get it. They won't stop because they're stuck in this hangman. And I feel like the ringleader here, this devil, that, that could have possibly put you in a third party with this other devil, this other, I'm hearing witch, okay? 
this person won't stop trying to be the ring leader, but I feel like somebody has been backed off now. I feel like somebody tried to come in and get some type of information on you, see what you were doing, see who you were in a relationship to try to block and stop your love life, stop your abundance, and it's not working. And I feel like now somebody is about to back off, but I mean, whether they back off or not, Spirit is saying they still going to be up under judgment because I feel like you're, you're possibly somebody's karma, okay? Now, you could be a a, a Libra cross-watching. Hell, I don't even know. Somebody is a Libra here. This person could be a Libra. Somebody is not educated either because Libra rule karma. You feel what I'm saying? And if, and if, and if, and, and if this is a bad Libra, somebody that's demonic and evil, it's like they bring in karma <laughs> in their own lives, man. It's like somebody don't know what to do because it's like they sitting here thinking like, damn, it's like soon as somebody think they got you, soon as somebody think they've ruined you, you slay their ass. You a queen of swords. You feel what I'm saying? It's like soon as somebody think they one up in you, yeah, like so I can actually see somebody like, yeah, <laughs> I got that bitch. And I feel like this third party that they put you in a connection, um, put you in some type of third party connection with, both of these two individuals are like, yeah, 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 I got that bitch. I'm going to ruin their business. I'm going to ruin their life or whatever the hell you do. I'm going to ruin every goddamn thing, but they still going through karma. With the wheel of fortune, you still at the top of the wheel, they still at the bottom, and that spirit is still blocking them off. Yeah, and you still gonna be in the ace of pentacles. Yeah. <sighs> this is sad, but I feel like there's several people. It's like you can't do this, man. You cannot do this. I don't know what else to say. You can't go against a divine being and expect not to get your ass whooped, get your ass toe up. And I'm sorry for being vulgar and I'm sorry for cussing, but somebody, there's several people here that's realizing that you are the truth. And I'm hearing a gangster and I'm not saying like a criminal. I'm not saying you, you violent. I ain't saying you did nothing to nobody. Somebody know you don't play no games, okay? There's several people here in both of these individuals' family that know that you don't play no games and you're not somebody to be messed with. You only mess with people unless they mess with you. And you know, yeah, I feel like the truth is being revealed of what, who you are and who these two individuals are. This is a narcissistic person, male or female, that put you in a third party and went towards another narcissist. And because you're a star and you're receiving justice and you're a high priestess and they're under judgment, they want to try to spiritually attack you, stop your abundance, stop your life. And it's not working. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like spirit. It's like spirit lets this person think. Look, I can't make this up. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to say this card for a second. But spirit lets these people think. It's like I can actually see two individuals here like, yeah, yeah, we got that B-I-T-C-H or we got that man or we got that woman and yeah, we winning and then boom. It's like spirit will let you think that you one up in somebody and then boom, you just all spirit is allowing you to do it so you can create more karma for yourself. And look, they tow up. They toe up for them from the flow of. I mean, they battered and beaten and bruised. I'm hearing somebody is going through a dark night of the soul. I could be picking up on that person again. We have angel number 1313. 13. That could be significant in 1320 and 1321. And if you're new to my channel, I read odd and even angel numbers. But I feel like, yeah, it's like they battered and bruised, man, and heartbroken. It's like. This is a weird ass energy, man. This is like pathetic. This is a pathetic energy. It's like I know what's going on, but it's pathetic. It's pathetic. I just all I can say is it's like don't come for somebody unless you want to get dealt with, unless you want to get handled. It's like especially don't come for for a divine being because it's like you go yeah, and the earth angel too, because of the temperance here. Don't do that because you're gonna get your ass toe up, and I feel like you've been somewhere in the background. Resting and rejuvenating. I feel like I'm picking up on the homewrecker energy again. I feel like there is a homewrecker here or a man that's a homewrecker, a woman, somebody here teamed up against a karmic ex, this devil here that's a ringleader, and they tried to go against you, okay? And they could have tried to break up, break up a family dynamic or something like that. Somebody is scared for their life because somebody is trying to figure out what the hell you know. There's several people here trying to figure out what the hell you know. I feel like somebody is psychic here. Or somebody could be a tarot reader as well. Somebody could be spiritually gifted. And I feel like several people are terrified and afraid of what you know or what you can do. But you're not somebody that do spell work. Oh my God, who are these people? 
You're not somebody that do spell work or witchcraft or do none of that. You don't do none of that. You're just somebody that's a divine being. That look at you came out as a temperance energy. You're balanced. Okay? You're abundant in the ace of pentacles. The hierophant here. You're a, you're a, you are angel. I can't stress this enough. It's like you don't do spell work, okay? Somebody is trying to make you out to be a magician. Now, you're a good magician, but you use your, your psychic abilities if you psychic. You use your powers to manifest an abundance, and that's what you're going to continue to do. You're going to remain there. That's why you're in the Ace of Pentacles, okay? But this person, you don't do spell work. I feel like you only come for somebody unless they come for you. You sitting on your throne. You sitting in your power because you're an empress, of course. And, if, and I, feel like, I feel like you're somebody that's been sitting in the cut. Male or female, you've been sitting in the cut, chilling, minding your business, focusing on your abundance, you know, whatever the hell you've been doing. And it's like, boom, these two individuals then got into some mess and got into some drama. And now they're trying to come for you and what you got. Somebody then lost their place to live. Somebody then lost their car. Somebody then lost their home. Somebody, I, I'm here, two individuals then lost everything. And it's like, Je it's like two individuals here could have possibly tried to make you jealous a narcissist tried to make you jealous and it's not working it's like every time this person comes from your neck i feel like somebody has literally had to get somewhere and sit down look look at them sitting down somebody has literally had to get somewhere and sit down and say damn maybe i can't defeat th defeat this person maybe i can't do this and i feel like somebody is shocked here but they're childish, so whoever this third party is, this devil could have put you in a third party situation with. They're shocked at what you can, what you know, and what you can do. Somebody is very intimidated by your intellect, by your maturity as well, and how you carry yourself. Somebody really, really underestimated you and who you are because of this devil. And I feel like there's several people in the background that's tied to this third party that's saying they owe you some type of apology or. I'm hearing somebody in this person's own family could be calling them a homewrecker. And I don't mean no harm. I'm just tired of picking up. Look, I told you you was a high priestess. I feel like there's several people here that knows that you're some type of high priestess, but you don't do spell work. I feel like there's several people that can see that you're genuine. I'm hearing the word genuine. I'm hearing a past life soulmate. So whoever this devil is, this is a past life soulmate that has tried to stop you for many lifetimes. This is a distraction. This is a distraction from who you are in the, in the abundance that you have. This person only wants to infiltrate what you got going on. They only want to come in to stop your life and stop your abundance. Okay? Because they're a devil. Somebody lacks common sense as well. Just pay attention to the red flags because I feel like this is not going to stop. It's not going to stop because somebody is in the background. They contemplate this. This is a real life devil here. Now, listen, now, this is a real life devil here. Somebody is sitting back in the cut. They didn't they didn't stop for now. OK, they didn't stop for now because they didn't got beat up and towed up by spirit and possibly even you. And I'm not saying actually like physically because this is a spiritual battle. Somebody then got beat up and tore up, but I don't feel like they done yet. They finna keep coming. They gonna come back for more. They coming back with revenge. They're coming back with vengeance. If that's the word, that's how you say it. Somebody is thinking like, damn, I, I, I thought, damn, I thought our plan was gonna work. These are two. This is this is really, y'all. I'm picking back up on Pinky, Pinky in the brain again. This is two. This is Pinky in the damn brain. Trying to come up with a scheme and a scam to finesse a damn empress. Somebody thought that they could come in. Somebody that you were in a relationship with, shit with, had some type of family dynamic with. Somebody thought that they could come in. One second, you guys. One second. Okay, you guys, I'm sorry about that. Whew, I be trying to run back, catch my breath. But basically, y'all, so I can close this reading out, I do, I so, so apologize. 
but somebody is like pinky in the brain here. Somebody thought that they could come in, take from you, steal from you, use you. Somebody downplayed you. Somebody thinks that you're, somebody now realizes that you're smarter than what they try to like portray you to be. Look, yeah, there is a death here. I feel like if somebody does not stop, they're about to experience some type of death here, man. Because I feel like somebody, they won't stop trying to come for an earth angel, a divine being's neck. They won't stop, man. And it's like they might have took a break. They may have left you alone for now, but they contemplating, they thinking what else the hell they can do. But I feel like somebody's family... Possibly even both of these people's family has backed off because I feel like there's several people in the background that's connected to these two individuals that are scared shitless because I feel like there's several people here trying to figure out what you know, what you can do. And I feel like there's several people here that could be saying you do spell work, but you don't do spell work. It's like, look, look at you. You can smoke. You can smoke cigarettes or some shit or weed or something you smoke something but i don't think it's like no harsh drugs or nothing like that but look at you over here sitting back in the cut it's like several people are afraid of what you know somebody now realizes that you are spiritually gifted i feel like somebody didn't believe you somebody is scared it's like somebody's evil master plan to take over you to try to take over your world because that's what pinky and the in the brain kept trying to do in the cartoon take over the world you know so somebody tried to come in and, and sabotage what you got going on and take her take over the goddamn take over your world and you a whole high priestess it's like several people are trying to figure out how do you know them or how do you know that or why did you do this or why did you do that or it's, it's you're a high priestess the high priestess don't always show their hand you know every goddamn thing and if you don't know now, then you going to find out. I don't know why I'm saying you got served. So somebody just basically got served. <laughs> oh my God. My spirit guides are funny. Two damn individuals here then got served. Trying to come before earth angel and a divine being. And especially a high priestess. Somebody that know what be going on. Somebody that's psychic or spiritually gifted here. Yeah. Yeah, there's several people that's admired by you, but they probably won't tell you that. This could be somebody's mother or father. There's a lot of talk and gossip going around around town about whoever this divine being is. I'm going to just say that. Yeah, it's like I feel like you're an empress, but you can also get into this Queen of Wands energy. Or this, you can, you know, the empress is every queen in the deck. So I feel like, look, you sitting back in the cut, you smoking your weed. I don't know what you do, smoking your cigarette, you drinking with you drinking your drink, you sitting back in the cut. But the high priest is on the lookout. The high priestess know what's going on now. And when the and when the high priestess and the Queen of Swords come out, all, when all the queens come out, which is the empress, when the empress come out. She coming. She coming for your neck. Period. Point blank. Male or female. And guess what? She ain't coming by herself. She coming with backup. Not not saying she can't handle it and do it by herself, or or he or he can't handle it by himself. She he or she is coming with backup. And guess who the backup is? Your ancestors. So so somebody better. Yeah, you better sit down. You better sit down before you get your ass towed up and knocked up. And they didn't already got towed up and knocked up, but they still trying to come for your neck. When they going to learn? I'm telling you, this is pinky in the damn brain that ain't got served. Because I'm hearing if you don't know now, then you going to find out. Y'all know you got served. <laughs> get back, get back, get back, get back. Get your ass on back. But they, they not going to quit. They not going to quit. They don't know what to do. This person going to steal. And somebody watches you on social media all the time. They may not be watching you now, but they're going to start back. Somebody watches you on social media. Somebody wants to stop your love life, block your love life. And there's also several people that's trying to, do, who, who is discovering who you are. So basically what people, what spirit is telling me is, is that whoever this third party put you in a, 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 a Whoever this devil put you in a third party with, somebody's family, this person's family could be stalking and watching you on social media. I feel like this devil downplayed you, basically. That's what I'm hearing. Anything else, Spirit, before I close this out? I mean, it ain't really too much else left to say, but for you to keep standing in your power, 
and 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 folks need to leave you a hell alone for they get towed up and 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 messed up and 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 yeah, I feel like there's some type of death here. Spirit, clarify this death here before I close this out. Clarify this death here. Damn, we have the three of pentacles here. I feel like several people are about to experience the death for whatever they did to you. There's too many individuals that put their mouth on somebody that they didn't know. And I'm not saying this is going to be an actual physical death. Some Somebody that is devil here may actually go to, through a physical death. Okay? But several people that's involved, some people are about to start losing their finances, their money. I feel like somebody, there could be somebody's father here, a mother here, or possibly somebody's parents here that now knows why they're going through karma. I feel like karma can be hitting somebody's family really hard right now, and they now know the reason why, and I feel like that reason is you, and you're not somebody to be played with. You are a high priestess, and somebody, this devil here, shouldn't have downplayed you. There's several people here that's angry at this devil that want this devil neck. I'm hearing somebody's parents or father could want this devil neck here. So you just continue to be careful. Just know that you are protected and you don't got nothing to worry about because pinky in the brain is going to continue to go down and whoever else involved, man. You know, the sad part is that I'm picking up on this situation. These people are not going to apologize. I mean, you know, you don't have to, but they need to at least make it right with God so they can, you know, spare their own life. You feel what I'm saying? This King of Wands here, this King of Wands devil energy is something else, man. You keep moving forward with the chariot. Yeah, it's like, I just don't feel like there's several people that needs to give an apology, but I don't feel like... I feel like there's several people here that's discovering that this person is a devil and creates illusions. Somebody is so sick and so hurt. I feel like this person is sick and hurt, but they don't care. This is somebody that's, that, that does not believe in God. They don't believe in karma. Even when they going through karma or, or, or for whatever the fuck they did, they don't give a fuck. And I feel like these two individuals have spiritually, they've created a soul tie that's demonic because they're both demonic this is evil and this could actually be somebody's divine feminine but i mean these two individuals are possibly not spiritually gifted they don't understand spirituality this is just somebody you close out a karmic cycle with there's two individuals here that don't understand spirituality or i i, I just this is sad this is sad i don't even know what else to say but to Continue to protect yourself because there's several people here that's going through karma, man, and up under judgment. And somebody now knows, somebody's father or parents or some shit like that, somebody now knows why they their finances have been hidden or somebody's, uh, it's just a lot going on here. And if I keep going, it's going to go on and on and on. All I'm going to tell you is if, if you didn't have to get off your throne, the empress don't get off their throne for nobody. They too bougie for that. And I'm not saying you bougie like you better than people, but the empress don't get off her throne and or, or you know what i'm saying unless she got to you feel what i'm saying but you didn't brought some justice you didn't you shit you could actually even be a libra yourself that's cross watching this if, if you or, or if you another sign uh, air sign or something but this is a sagittarius reading the libra don't come off their throne for nothing but when i when the, i mean not the libra excuse me so see i didn't even mean to say that the ink so, so a libra could be significant in this situation I'm hearing even a double Libra or this devil could be a Libra and they, they, they bring it in their own karma. If this devil is a damn Libra, even though, you know, now the devil, this person could be a Capricorn as well. But, you know, if this devil is a damn Libra, man, they stupid. I'm going to just leave that at that. You bringing your own damn karma into your life, you idiot, <laughs> male or female. But like I said, the empress don't get off their throne. The empress don't do that. The, for what? You know what I'm saying? But if they got it, when the empress get up out they seat, and if this empress is a high priestess and an earth angel and, and, and seen in high honor and all of that good stuff, man, hell yeah, you finna get some judgment. And there's several people that's scared here. That's all I'm gonna say. Scared shitless. I'm gonna just leave it at that. Leave it at that. And spirit told me to say it one more time. If you don't know now, then you gonna find out. You, you might not know in the past. You might have been worried. You might have been concerned. You might have felt sorry. You might have felt sad. But today you're going to learn today. 
You're going to learn today to lead the empress, divine being, high priestess. I'm hearing star seed, earth angel, whatever, galactic being, whatever the hell you are. You're going to learn today. And if you don't learn, you don't know now, you're going to find out. And I feel like there's several people here that work together, work in the cahoots over lies. And I'm not going to get to screaming. Spirit just told me to yell it over damn lies because of this devil here. Because of this devil here. And then whoever they've attached themselves to, they still trying to come for your neck. But I feel like somebody has stepped in and has told this third party to sit their ass down somewhere. And I feel like somebody's mother is involved as well. This person's mother could be involved. This third party here. And they scared. There's several individuals here that's scared. And you're being watched on social media. I'm going to let you know that now. I feel like it's a whole bunch of discovering and truths that's come out. So protect yourself. Keep remaining in your power. You know, you are protected. But, you know, protect yourself as well. And uh, everything is... I, I see good things for here. You for your future. Abundance, happiness, success. Possibly a new love. I'm seeing marriage here as well. This devil and this this third party they've attached themselves to. That that's possibly their divine feminine, but they're in a low vibrational energy. And whoever these third parties that's involved, just pray for them because God ain't through yet. God most definitely ain't through with this devil here because they won't stop. They didn't took a break after they didn't got toe up from the flow up. Look at them. They didn't took a break, but they still, they didn't took a break now, but they coming back with more with vengeance. I'm, I'm here. But see what God, see God is trying to get this person an opportunity to spare, spare themselves, spare their, <laughs> excuse me, to spare their life, to make shit right. But they, they're not, they're refusing to, they're refusing to give a empress, a high priestess, um, a divine being, the respect and the credit that they deserve. And the and spirit is saying, okay, that's fine. That's cool. You don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. That's fine. Cause next time it's going to be a death and it's not going to be a spirit. So it's going to be a physical death period point blank. They scattering like roaches and ants and hiding and fighting. That's what I'm hearing. The truth is now being revealed. The empress has now came off the throne. The, the high priestess has now spoke their truth. All right, Sagittarius, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you, and goodbye.